Welcome to another edition to the WooCommerce Attributes and Variations tutorial. Okay, so here we have a black frame. Now Canvas sells uh, several different pieces of artwork within a black frame. So first you could choose your frame size, you know, 14 by 18, 18 by, 8 by 10, 18 by 24, and uh, then you could choose what you want in your black frame piece of artwork. They have, you know, 16 North, you can choose a House United, and maybe a black frame then you could always go back and change your size okay and so you'll get your price here you can change your quantity add to cart click out so uh, this is looks simple but it's actually pretty involved to get these things to work for you so anyway it all starts out with your Photoshop uh, Photoshop or photo editor each one of these, as I click on these different swatches, each one is a completely, totally different picture, okay? It looks like it's only replacing the, one, the, the image inside, but it's not. It's actually replacing the image as well as the picture, or, or the, this image as well as the frame, the picture of the frame. So if you think it's only that little piece that's getting replaced, then you're wrong, okay? What we need to do is we start by setting our attributes okay now I set up some attributes here for this product and it's called black frame okay and how you, you don't edit the black frames by clicking edit here you click this little gear over here okay and this is where you can uh, edit your uh, different attributes in fact this one here is the wrong one this is supposed to be an airplane so we're going to just go in here and edit it and we're going to remove this image and we're going to go choose our airplane image from our library black airplane okay and we want to use the thumbnail but because this isn't the theme that I made this is a WordPress default frame it doesn't resize your thumbnails okay so you have these three different images in set in your attributes okay so we're going to go go to our product and we're going to scroll down here to black frames okay and this is the one that I had done I'm just going to explain to you what I did to accomplish this okay first of all I I linked the frames which is the different size frames so I could use any one of these attributes or, vari uh, or variations for my product we have uh, these different ones and uh, that we can use alright so we linked all those frames. The next thing we did is we we linked the attributes that I created for the black frames, the different pieces of artwork that we could put in black frames. Okay, and so that's how those got there. And uh, the way you do that is a custom product product attribute. You would come down here and select whatever you made over here in your attributes. Okay. So that's how we got the, the, the frame sizes and then the different artworks within the black frames. Okay. The next thing we did is we went to our variations and we linked our variations. Okay. Now we sell the black frame 16 north in an 8x10. We also sell it in a 14x18. We also sell it in 18x24 and possibly a couple more. But to keep it simple, I only choose the three so we have a variation of 8 by 10 black frame 16 north variation of 14 18 by black for black frame 16 north variation of 18 by 24 by black frame 16 north now we had to go in and we had to make sure that we put uh, an SKU number we had to put a price we had to put the weight and the dimensions on each and every one of them okay so you just can't put it on one and think, okay, well, that's the way it's going to be for the others. It doesn't work that way. You have to put it in each and every one, okay? So that was our eight, for our 16 North items. Now for a House United, we went in, we put our SKU number, our uh, regular price, our weight and dimensions for each one on the 16 North, okay? Now the black frame, we did the exact same thing okay so now uh, you know when it, if you want to add to this you can okay maybe uh, see we have another size here 11 by 14 for black frame 16 north okay and we can just go ahead and click add variation that will add that particular variation to this product now what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to uh, select the um, not 14 by 18 let me think what it was 
11 by 14 to the black frame north, okay? So you'll notice I tried to keep my SKU numbers making sense. BF 16 and 810. So for that was for the 8 by 10. So I'm going to close that out. I'm going to copy that. But over here at the end, I'm going to put uh, uh, 11 by 14. Okay. Or you know what? Let me uh, let me see here. Let's go instead of 11 by 14. I, I see that we don't have the 16 by 20s. So I'm going to go 16 by 20 because that comes in a frame. Then the black frame 16 north. And right here, I'm going to put 1620 for my SKU number. Once again, I'm going to go to my images. I'm going to find the images for the black at 16 north. I'm going to set that as my variation. Okay. Now, my 16 by 20 is $99. And the weight was one pound. We're going to call it a size of 16. Uh, the width one inch and then uh, 20 inch okay just like that so now I have now if I wanted a sale price on this particular item I could put the sale price here okay so that that's what all, all I have to do to uh, add that variation okay F to this particular to the black frames um, you could drag and drop it so it makes sense uh, let's see here there we go uh, 8 by 10 then 16 by by 20 and 14 by 18 okay well we'll just leave it like that okay and then what we're just going to do just go ahead and update the product there all right so we have our next variation remember each variation that we put in is just like adding a new product and only since we're only dealing with black frames and uh, several pieces of artwork we could do it that way now let me refresh this page I'm just going to highlight this and refresh and so now we got our 14 by 18 and we notice the black frame 16 north uh, you know and house house united airplane so we see that that's how we link these variations and then we have our now I want I want to also show you something notice when we go to 16 north that we have the 14 by 18 size right but if I select a House United, I don't have the 14 by 18 size. So what am I going to have to do? Well, it's just like adding another product. I'm just going to have to come back down here, go to my variations, and what I want to do is, uh, so I have my 16 tw by 20 black frame 16 north. Now I want another 16 by 20, but I want it to be a House United. So I'm going to select a House United, and I'm going to go ahead and add that variation just like that okay so I'm going to once again uh, let me see here uh, I want the 16 by 20 a house United and I had a different SKU number for them black frame a house United I'm just gonna copy this so everything makes sense and at the end here I'm going to put 1620 okay now once again I'm going to grab that image for a house united in my media library just like this here I'm going to hit set variation now the the price for the 16 by 20 is $99 and in stock weight one pound then 16 one and then 20 just like that alright and so now I can move this to where I want it where it's going to make sense for me and so I'm going to put it right up under the 8x10, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and update the product. And go, I'll ha go ahead and let that finish updating. Now remember that we only had the, the option for the 16x20 uh, uh, and the, the 16 north. But, not, and, but whenever we select a house united, we did not have that. We only have three different options. But now let me refresh the page since I added that other variation. Okay. So now if we go to 16 by 20, if that's our first choice, then we see that we can use uh, the 16 North or a frame, uh, a house United. But now in these other sizes, we have uh, the airplane, the airplane uh, painting. So that's how variations work. Now, whenever you're dealing with thousands of different variations, I wouldn't, uh, you know, this is, this is going to be cumbersome and it's going to take a long time to do. But the steps are, the first step you do is you make all your different images, okay? 
you make your your black frame with this image you make your black frame with this image you make your black frame with this image and don't make the images too large just make them make them large enough you know that they'll make sense in there now if if you ever wanted to have show images over here alongside your variations you know that's another step and that's whenever you get down to these swatches okay and these swatches are you know you can bring them in like this uh, uh, custom colors and images or whatnot but you know I'm gonna save that for a different tutorial you know because I don't want to confuse you on uh, the the variations variations you need to get the variations down first after you get the, all the variations down then you'll be able to go on the swatches but there's a lot of work in here now remember you gotta have two columns one would be the size and then the the painting and yes you can add a third one but you know that even becomes even more cumbersome like possibly uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, a color or something like that or custom image but so for your feature, featured image that you have here already you just have that black frame so that when people first come to the the product there's nothing to show them but uh, just a black frame let me uh, refresh this again it's loading up slowly okay but usually whenever it loads because it's saving just go to choose option okay so that's that's where you will get the first image the featured image just like that and then as you make your selections then you can make your selections like that okay so that's how variations work a couple other things to keep in mind is that you only can have 50 50 different possible uh, custom variations okay so you're only going to be able to do 50 of these okay uh, before the program will not allow you to add any more combinations together um, so you only have for instance you only have to, you can only use uh, with the let's say you had 10 different sizes then you could use 40 different pieces of artwork okay which would give you a, a total of 50 different combinations uh, the other thing that you could do to, to make it easier on yourself is that after you set one frame, like we're using black frames, then maybe you'll go to aqua frames or blue frames or whatever. What you could do is after you get all these variations set, okay, you could go back into your products and duplicate this product, okay, just by going right here and hit duplicate. And then what that will do is that will give you the option to go back into that duplicated copy and just go down through there and change your SKU numbers and pictures in these uh, variations. Okay, so you would open these up, you would change this picture and then change that SKU number. Okay, and then if the price is different, change the price. So everything would be there. So that's, that's what you would have to do, like if you wanted to do uh, all your different frames. Okay. All right, I just thought that I'd bring that out. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. This is Maximus McCullough with A1 Website Pro. Thanks.